Got the weight of the world on your shoulder Every day you get a little older Not that anyone can tell And the days get a little longer And you know you should be getting stronger But you wear it well there's an album coming out later in this year called Demons Will Win. It's due around about November, depending obviously on how things are travelling in the world of music. But the lady's name is Sue Ray and she's joining us tonight. Hi, Sue. Thank you very much for joining us. All the Lonely Ones is the new single off the album. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been great. It's such a beautiful, soulful song. Tell us a little bit about the writing of it and everything behind it. Well, it was actually written on a bit of a whim. Um, myself and Sean Sennett got together one day just for fun, just to do some co-writing. And I don't know, we were just in a bit of a vibe. I had one little line, the first line of the song in the guitar riff in my mind and said, I've got this idea. And he said, oh, well, let's give it a try. And within an hour, the song was written. It was just one of those magical moments where we sort of looked at each other and went, wow, this just fell out. It was just came really naturally. And that night I got home and turned the recording equipment on and just boom, went and recorded it. So that the version you're hearing is the first take. The only thing added later on was just some pedal steel. And I basically got Michael Flanders, a great player I know from Nashville, to put some pedal steel on it and then got Sean to go back and put some harmonies on it. And the song was there. We just went, that's it. Let's not try recording it again. It's just the energies in that version. Sometimes the first cut or the simple things is exactly what a song needs because you can oversing some songs, can't you? You can, and that's what happened. I tried to do a second vocal take once I had the song down and I just couldn't get the same energy. I'm like, not nah, that first version where my voice was a bit husky because I'd had a gig the night before and I'd been singing all morning with Sean and I just got home and I think I was just warmed up and ready to go. I, and sometimes you don't need to overdo something. It's like adding salt to Vegemite. If it's already, you know, taste the way it's meant to, don't mess with it. <laughs> How do you go doing the song live then? So talk about recapturing that moment. Well, basically, I have a harmonizer pedal that can do the harmonies, and I played it live. I've only done it live once, actually, and I had Michael Sanders with me. He played the pedal steel on it, and he actually plays the Dobro, and it actually works out quite well. We were able to recreate it. I use a lot of effects with my guitar and make it very moody with reverbs and delays and things like that. So it did actually translate pretty well, and people after the show were coming up going, what was that song you did? That was, it was just really haunting, and I thought, there you go. I wasn't sure how it would translate, but it, it kind of does. People that don't know you, Sue, tell us about your startings in music and where you got your inspiration and how you got to where you are now. I was very fortunate to be born into a musical family. My dad was in a band for many, many years and owned a musical instrument store in my hometown, Toowoomba. He was also the chairman of the Toowoomba Country Music Club. So growing up, I, instead of going to footy matches and cricket games on weekends, I went to gigs. So I thought gigging was normal life. I didn't know there was anything outside of that. So naturally, I got really fascinated by sound engineering and video production in high school. So when I graduated, I went straight to the School of Audio Engineering and did all that stuff. The calling to be on the other side of the microphone took over. And in my 20s, I sort of started playing backup guitar and singing for other people. And I did that for years. I didn't have the confidence to be my own solo artist. But when I was about 28, I did a couple of solo gigs at the, the um, Troubadour in Brisbane. If, I don't know if you remember that venue. Yeah. Mm. It was the place to be. And Jamie Travascus was the owner. And he, he just said to me one night, hey, Sue Ray, you should come over and do some songs at my place in my home studio. And, and I just did. And we ended up recording my first EP, Best for Wear. And with him, his influence was on there. He's into the similar style of music I am, that real dark, moody Americana kind of stuff. And then it sort of took off from there. And after that, I applied for a couple of grants and I didn't get any and then eventually I, I got one through the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet down in Canberra and I got a recording grant that helped me make my second album Red Roses and that was where I was able to use a full band production and I used Magoo, that great producer who's done Kate Miller Hyde, Camp Powderfinger and all those guys and then from there I just sort of started gigging more and just playing, instead of being in a punk band or goth band like I had years ago I was doing <laughs> country music, I kind of went full circle and came back to country music because it was easier to carry an acoustic guitar up the stairs at the Troubadour than it was a bass rig. So for the people that are at home that um, are interested in your story so far and want to learn more about you, what's the best way for them? Is it just your normal Facebook pages and social yeah. medias? I'm not great at social media, I'll be honest, but I do have a website, <laughs> suraymusic.com, and I'm on Instagram. I would love you to come and join me. All the normal things, Ray Music is my handle on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter all that stuff, but bear with me because I'm, I'm learning as I go. <laughs> oh, well, we'll go on the journey Better together. And we're going to go out with the song now. It's Sue Ray and All the Lonely Ones. You try to catch a falling star 
So that all the lonely ones, all the lonely ones can sing.